And happening today, the city's rent guidelines board is holding a final vote regarding rent increases. If approved, two million New Yorkers in rent stabilized apartments could see their rents rise. CBS News' Elijah Westbrook joins us live from the Cooper Union in the East Village, where that vote is taking place tonight. John? That's right. Good morning, Chris and Mary. I can tell you that this vote is scheduled to take place at 730. In fact, right there behind me at the Cooper Union. But, you know, it's coming with some pushback from advocates who believe that if, in fact, this passes, the city's most vulnerable could be in jeopardy. City residents like Lisa Fitzgerald are worried about a possible increase in their rent stabilized apartments. I think that's kind of ridiculous with, you know, everything going up, food, gas. If it passes tonight, rent increases on one year leases could go up between two and four percent and on two year leases from four to six percent. The average rent for a stabilized apartment this year is fourteen hundred dollars a month. That means rent hikes up to fifty six dollars a month on a one year lease or eighty four dollars a month on a two year lease. The rent increase is terrible. All right now I'm paying uh, 14. And I can't afford 1400 with uh, a one-bedroom apartment. I have multiple sclerosis. I had a total hip replacement. Tenant advocates are hoping for a rent freeze or even a rollback. When you increase my rent to that much, what are you telling me? Is I eat or drink or feed my family? How are we okay increasing rents when 26% of people living in, rents, in, in the rent-stabilized housing that we're proposing to increase them pay more than 50% of their income in rent? But others say landlords are just trying to keep up with rising costs. We need to authorize a rent increase that keeps up with these costs so housing, housing providers have the ability to maintain their buildings and make sure that the buildings are safe. And back here live, Mayor Eric Adams has also been vocal about this issue, taking a stance on both sides of the aisle, but ultimately hopes, quote, that the Rent Guidelines Board will make the right decision for those New Yorkers who are struggling. We're live this morning here in the East Village, Elijah Westbrook, CBS 2 News. Elijah, thank you.